Hey, what is up guys? Mrs. The Reverts here, and today we are going to be talking about something very controversial in the news this week. This is kind of close to me since obviously I am a gamer. I post video games on my YouTube channel here, and you may have came across this yourself if you too are an active gamer, or you even just pay attention to social media. Uh, but recently Valve has came out with a video game called Active Shooter, and uh, in the game's description on Steam it says that it simulates a school shooting. Yeah, you heard that right. This is a video game all about shooting up a school. Only an active shooter, you will be able to pick up the role as an elite SWAT team member or the actual shooter. Depending on the role, your objective might be to protect and extract or hunt and destroy. Now guys, this game was supposed to go on sale next week, June the 6th. However, active shooter has been pulled off of the Steam Marketplace and also the Valve company itself. And this article here by Variety talks about the reason why the game was removed and they say the game was scheduled to launch on Steam June 6th but widespread condemnation and anger from lawmakers, activists, and parents of school shooting victims apparently caused Valve to investigate. In an email to Variety, a Valve spokesman said the person who made the game has a history of abusive behavior and it's removed both the developer, Revive Games, and publisher Acid from its digital storefront. Now guys, I'm going to be straight up honest here. The only reason and I mean the only reason why I defend this game is because of the First Amendment. Yeah, they do have a right to make this game, but with that being said, is it a game that should be released? Absolutely not. Given everything that's happened with the recent school shootings, uh, the heavy trauma that these uh, shootings have caused on these poor kids and their family members, this game should not be released to the public, and I'm pretty sure uh, no well-known site or store would even allow the sale of this game. I think it's a dumb idea because of what's been happening, but again, the devs do have a right to make this game game, but we the people also have a right to subject the game to criticism. I completely understand why all of these activists, politicians, and uh, even the family members who have lost their kid to a school shooting are totally against this game. But then what does that mean for games like Call of Duty? All you basically do is uh, you just shoot people, respawn, do it again, or even Grand Theft Auto where you sh can shoot hookers, commit crimes, that kind of stuff. There's so many games that are out right now that, you know, showcase violence, but the thing is the easy easy thing you parents can do is, you know, just simply don't let your kid play the game. It's that simple. If you're against violent video games, then just don't buy them. It's It really is simple. If your kid is watching videos of people playing these games, then, you know, shoot, put your YouTube app in the kid-friendly mode or, you know, just monitor what they're doing. It's so simple to prevent your kid from, you know, watching violent games or even playing violent video games. I've played a few uh, pretty violent video games as a kid, not gonna lie, ever, but never in my mind did I ever think about killing someone someone bringing a gun to school just video games do not cause the player violence and if you think that that's the case that's a pretty dang ig ignorant statement to say I feel that more parents need to keep an eye on their kid you know like check up on their kid how they're doing in life ask them what they're doing and their, how they're doing in their day if something's wrong with their kid that you can't see physically and emotionally do everything you can to you know make sure they're okay do everything you can as a parent uh, but again so yeah I really do feel this game should not be released uh, the people who are against this game I totally understand their opinion and and if you can't see that then I, I really just don't know what to say honestly the game doesn't even look that good the graphics look poor uh, they have reused character sprites I don't know I think the only reason why there are people who, who want to play this game is because of the controversy and I think the only reason why acid and the rest of the dev team made this game is because of the controversy and the reason they why they did that is because they want to benefit off the publicity like they probably knew well well beforehand that they were going to get attention this was going to blow up their studio was going to get attention in the news and, and yeah they got what they wanted tell me how you guys feel about this down below again i don't agree with the school shooting theme of this game i think the right thing for steam to do was to remove it off of the marketplace which they have done and uh, so yeah tell me your thoughts down below in the comments guys also drop a like if y'all did enjoy the video and thank you for watching till next time i'll see you later